In today's video, we'll take a look at how to reverse a linked list. So basically, if I have a linked list that is one, three, and six, I want at the end, instead of the root being one, to be six, right? So that uh, the root is changed and then six to be linked to three and then three linked to one and one gonna be the end of our list. How can we achieve this? So we're gonna have to have an iteration, right? For every single node, we're gonna have to basically reverse the arrow. What's that? What does that even mean? Well, that means that, for example, for our general case, a node that is not the first or the last node, three in this example, uh, we have to change the next pointer from pointing to six to instead point to one, right? Just like so. Um, well, this is the operation that we have to do every single iteration. Now, before we get to into implementing it, let's think about what information we actually need to set this pointer to be the previous one. Well, first we need a pointer to our current node, so to our three here, definitely. Then we need a pointer to our previous uh, node because remember with uh, linked lists, with this type of link list, so you cannot actually go back. So you have this uh, node, you cannot actually go back to one, right? You only have forward arrows. So you're gonna have to have another variable to store the previous pointer. So that's, that's second. But also, after finishing this operation where you're overriding this value, this uh, little pointer here, you're gonna have a problem because this pointer is no longer gonna exist. So we need three variables to basically reverse the arrow of all the nodes inside our linked list. So therefore I'm gonna call them previous, current, and next, right? These are gonna be our three variables. Current you probably have seen before, so that's no surprise. And you'll notice that at the beginning of our linked list, we have to set, well, we have to change this guy. So here we have to change this arrow from pointing to three to actually not point to anything so that it will be null. So we can simply, if one is current, then previous can be null. And then we can set it to current arrow next equals previous. And at the end here, when six is current, then next is going to be null. So we can check that for our end uh, condition, for our exit condition in our while loop. So let's get to implementing. So as before, we have here our functions for adding inside the linked list. I have called insert and three times here. So basically we should get the linked list one, three and six that we had in the example. If I run this, I'm of course going to get one, three, six on the screen. We want the result to be six, three, one after just calling our function. So no more, no other modifications. So let's, let's create this function called void uh, reverse. And it's going to take again a double pointer to root due to the fact that we are going to change the root. So we need a double pointer to where the root is. And how do we start? Well, first let's define our uh, free variables. So first we have the previous, so node pointer previous, which I, as I said, since we're starting at the root, before the root there's nothing. So we can just say null, simple enough. That node current, you've seen this before, is just pointer to, it's just dereferencing root once, so basically we get the first node. And lastly, we need the next pointer, but this guy I'm gonna actually initialize and declare inside the loop, All right? So we're gonna first start with the loop. So in the while loop, inside the while loop, what's the exit condition? Well, the exit condition is when, what did I say? When current is six, that's fine. So it can be the last node because if current is six, we still need to uh, move its arrow from being null to actually pointing to three. So we have to have a change something like this. Therefore, we still need to iterate over it. Therefore, our exit condition is not when current arrow next is null, but when current is null, when we went past the linked list and we're done. So if current is not null, then we want to execute, even if it's the last node. In here, I'm actually going to declare and set the next pointer. So node next is going to be equal to current arrow next, right? That's simple enough because current is not null. That means current arrow next will be something. 
be it null or another node that's valid. Good, so now we have that situation where we have those three pointers all pointing to the right thing, right? So uh, current is our root, then previous is actually null because there's nothing there, and next is the next node, the second node from the linked list. So here we can say uh, current arrow next, that's root next pointer to be equal to previous. Right, so basically that's where we're reversing that arrow. So now with these three pointers, we basically have to step forward. Now we know that next is going to step forward because we have already set it to do so. So we just need to set previous and current. Current is very simple as you've seen before. We just have to say current equals next or basically current equals current arrow next as before. But again, since current arrow next changes in between uh, these sentences, we have to sort of say current equals next because current arrow next is previous. And then we have to change previous as well. So previous is going to be equal to current. But you'll notice that current already changed here. So we cannot really do that because previous is going to be next at that point. And that's just going to uh, cause a lot of issues. So what we have to do is set previous before actually setting current and then setting current to the next. So we have these uh, three pointers. We first move uh, with the previous to the current and then we move with the current to the next. And the next automatically uh, moves to the next next pointer over here. And that's, that's almost everything. If we try to call this function, say here reverse of root and try to run this, you'll notice we only get one on the screen. We get one due to the fact that one was the previous root, but now one is no longer the root. One is the end of our linked list. We have to also change the root inside our program. So here after the while is done, we have to set the root to be the last node inside the uh, linked list. So we're going to say here root equals what exactly? Is root equal to current? Well, no, because it can we can't set it to current because we know that if we are done with this while loop, current is equal to null, right? Because that's why we exited. So definitely not current. It has to be the previous node because previous to the to after the list is the end of the list. So previous would be uh, our new root after the while loop here. If you now run this, you'll notice I get the reversed linked list properly. So get instead of one, three, six, we get six, three, one. So that works nicely. And what is nice about this solution is that even if root is null, well, or if the linked list is empty, well, nothing really is going to happen. We're going to just be calling this current is going to be null. So the while loop never executes. And then the root gets set to previous, but previous since the while never executed, previous is null here. So we just kind of set the root to null all over again. So you don't even need to check if the list is empty before executing the algorithm. The algorithm automatically checks that, which in my opinion is very nice and clean and you don't have to have any sort of weird uh, edge cases. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty fast solution because it doesn't require you to reallocate the nodes or any sort of thing. I want you to try out to actually do uh, the reverse algorithm only using these functions that we've created here. It, it's going to be probably much quicker to design the algorithm. It's just you're going to realize that it's much more inefficient. So that's why we're doing it like so. And also maybe it's worth taking a look at uh, reversing the linked list in a uh, recursive manner. So if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.